What happened to Justin Peters? The story behind a voice of discernment. In the world of Christian apologetics, few voices are as distinct and impactful as that of Justin Peters. Known for his bold stance against the Word of Faith movement, Peters has been a significant figure in calling out false doctrines and unbiblical practices within certain strands of Christianity. But behind his firm theological positions and discernment ministry, there is a personal story shaped by challenges that most people could hardly imagine. Many who are familiar with Justin Peters might first recognize him from his conferences, his sermons, or his viral videos where he critically examines the teachings of popular figures like Joel Osteen, Benny Hinn, and Kenneth Copeland. But behind the ministry is a man whose life experiences have driven his passion for truth and biblical fidelity. His journey is deeply intertwined with his personal battle with cerebral palsy, a condition that not only affected his physical body but also played a key role in his spiritual calling. So, what happened to Justin Peters, and what is it about his story that has made him such a prominent voice in Christian circles? To answer that, we need to dive into his personal background, the theological controversies he has been involved in, his ongoing ministry, and the challenges that have shaped his life and mission. The Early Years A Battle with Cerebral Palsy Justin Peters was born in Vicksburg, Mississippi, on April 15, 1973, and from the moment he entered the world, life was going to be different for him. Diagnosed with cerebral palsy, Peters faced a series of physical challenges that affected his mobility and required the use of crutches for much of his life. Cerebral palsy is a condition caused by brain damage before or during birth, affecting muscle coordination and movement. It meant that Peters' childhood would be marked by regular doctor visits, physical therapy, and the reality of being different from other children his age. But for Peters, his disability would become both a personal struggle and a spiritual lesson. From an early age, he was introduced to Christianity and developed a deep faith in God. However, this faith would soon collide with the growing influence of the Word of Faith movement in the American South. This movement, often referred to as the Prosperity Gospel, teaches that Christians can achieve health, wealth, and victory in all areas of life, by simply having enough faith and making the right confessions. As a young boy with cerebral palsy, Peters was particularly vulnerable to the allure of these teachings. After all, who wouldn't want to believe that by saying the right prayer or having enough faith, they could be healed of a debilitating condition? Peters recounts attending healing services led by Word of Faith preachers, hoping that God would miraculously heal him. But as time went on and the healing never came, Peters began to question the legitimacy of the promises being made by these so-called faith healers. The Turning Point From Disappointment to Discernment Justin Peters' experiences with the Word of Faith movement during his formative years would serve as the catalyst for his eventual calling into discernment ministry. By the time he was in college, Peters had realized that the promises of guaranteed healing and financial prosperity were not only false but dangerous. His personal disappointment became a deeply theological concern. How many other people, he wondered, were being misled by the same false promises? How many were losing their faith when they weren't healed or didn't see their financial situations improve? Peters began to study the Bible more deeply, and it became clear to him that the Word of Faith movement was distorting Scripture to fit its own agenda. The healing miracles promised by these preachers were not reflective of God's sovereign will, and the idea that faith could be measured by physical health or financial success was contrary to the teachings of the Bible. In fact, Peters found that the Bible often spoke about suffering and hardship as integral parts of the Christian life, not something to be avoided or cured through positive thinking or declarations. As Peters delved deeper into his studies, he felt a growing conviction to speak out against these false teachings. This led him to pursue formal theological education, attending Southwestern Baptist Theological Seminary, where he earned a Master of Divinity, and eventually began developing his own ministry focused on exposing the errors of the Word of Faith movement. Clouds Without Water 
and Ministry of Discernment. The centerpiece of Justin Peters' ministry is his seminar titled Clouds Without Water, a reference to Jude 12, where false teachers are described as clouds without water, carried along by winds. The seminar is a detailed exposit of the Word of Faith movement, carefully dissecting the teachings of its most prominent figures and comparing them to Scripture. Peter's approach is not one of mere criticism. He backs his points with extensive biblical evidence, emphasizing the importance of sound doctrine and the dangers of following false prophets. Through clouds without water, Peter's has traveled across the United States and internationally, teaching Christians to discern between true and false teaching. His seminars often feature video clips of prominent Word of Faith preachers, such as Kenneth Copeland, Benny Hinn, and Joyce Meyer, where Peters pauses the footage to analyze their claims in light of Scripture. His methodical approach has earned him a reputation for being both thorough and gracious, firm in his critique, but always grounded in love for the people being misled. One of the most impactful aspects of Peters' ministry is his personal testimony his own experience with cerebral palsy and the false promises of healing make his critiques all the more poignant. He is not speaking as someone who is bitter or angry at God for not healing him. Rather, he speaks as someone who has found deeper meaning and purpose in his suffering. Peters often points to the Apostle Paul, who prayed for his thorn in the flesh to be removed, only to have God tell him, My grace is sufficient for you. For my power is made perfect in weakness, 2 Corinthians 12-9. For Peter's, his cerebral palsy is not a sign of a lack of faith, but an opportunity to display God's strength in the midst of weakness. This message resonates with many Christians who have faced similar struggles, whether physical, emotional, or spiritual, and have been tempted to believe that their suffering is a result of insufficient faith. Controversy and Criticism standing firm in a divided church. While Justin Peters' ministry has been a source of encouragement and biblical clarity for many, it has also attracted its fair share of controversy. The Word of Faith movement, which Peters so passionately critiques, is not a fringe group. It includes some of the most popular and influential Christian leaders in the world. Figures like Joel Osteen, Kenneth Copeland, and Creflo Dollar lead megachurches with millions of followers, and their teachings are broadcast on television and the internet to a global audience. Criticizing these leaders is not without consequences. Peters has faced pushback from Word of Faith adherents, some of whom accuse him of being overly judgmental or lacking the anointing to speak against God's chosen leaders. Some have even questioned his faith, suggesting that his cerebral palsy is evidence that he doesn't have enough faith to be healed an accusation that Peters finds both absurd and offensive. Despite the criticism, Peters has remained steadfast in his mission. He has always emphasized that his goal is not to attack individuals, but to expose false teachings that lead people away from the true gospel. He has repeatedly expressed his hope that those within the Word of Faith movement will come to repentance and embrace sound doctrine but he is equally firm in his belief that Christians must be vigilant in guarding against false prophets. The Continuing Journey, Health, Ministry, and Future Plans In recent years, questions have arisen about Justin Peters' health, particularly as he has continued to battle the physical effects of cerebral palsy while maintaining a rigorous ministry schedule. Traveling across the country to speak at conferences and churches is no easy task for anyone let alone someone with a physical disability. Yet Peters has shown remarkable resilience, continuing to preach, teach, and warn the church about the dangers of false teaching. There have been times when Peters has had to slow down due to health concerns, and some have wondered if his ministry might eventually need to take a different form. However, Peters has expressed his determination to continue his work for as long as God allows. In interviews and public appearances, he has often spoken about the importance of trusting in God's sovereignty, not only in his personal life, but also in his ministry. He is confident that God will provide the strength and resources needed to continue his mission. Looking to the future, Peters has hinted at expanding his ministry to reach even more people. In addition to his seminars, 
He has produced numerous teaching resources, including DVDs, books, and online content. He has also been a frequent guest on Christian radio and television programs, further extending his reach. Peters is keenly aware that the false teachings of the Word of Faith movement are not going away anytime soon, and he sees his role as a lifelong calling to help Christians navigate the theological challenges of the modern world. Conclusion A Voice for Truth in a Confused Age What Happened to Justin Peters? The answer is far more than a simple biography of a man with cerebral palsy who found his way into ministry. It is the story of a man who, despite physical limitations, has become one of the most respected and effective voices for biblical discernment in our time. His journey from a young boy seeking healing to a mature theologian exposing false doctrines is a testament to God's grace and the power of truth. Peter's life and ministry serve as a reminder that true faith is not about escaping suffering or achieving worldly success, but about trusting in God's sovereignty, even in the midst of hardship. His willingness to confront some of the most popular and influential figures in the Christian world has made him a polarizing figure, but it has also earned him the respect of countless believers who have been helped by his teaching. In a world where false teachings continue to lead many astray, Justin Peters stands as a beacon of biblical truth, calling the church back to the Word of God. His story is one of perseverance, conviction, and unwavering faith, an inspiration to anyone seeking to live a life of discernment in a confused and often deceptive age.